How you doing today? It's uh, Raw Merritt from 123 Network. And uh, if uh, before we get started here on the cPanel tutorial, if you have any questions or comments or anything I didn't go over in the video and you would like to uh, find out more, please feel free to contact us at 123network.net and I'd be happy to answer any of your questions or comments. Uh, now, to get started in the cPanel uh, number 6 tutorial, part 6 of part 9. Uh, if you haven't seen my previous videos, I went over the uh, preferences in part 1, mail in part 2, files in part 3, logs in part 4, security in part 5, and now we are on part 6, which is the domains. Okay, first we're going to go into the subdomains category. As you all know, subdomains are pretty much add-on domains to your domain. Now to create a subdomain you'll simply enter whatever you want at your domain here so it will be uh, say anything dot 123network.net you'd hit create and as you see down here you would have your subdomains form.123network.net forms and scripting. Um, now back to uh, if you wanted to redirect over here at our actions you could remove your subdomain or manage redirection if you wanted to uh, redirect your subdomain uh, say so if someone went to your subdomain and you wanted them to uh, it to redirect them to another page or to another domain you would click uh, manage redirection here and as you can see you can redirect form.123network.net redirects to another website save it or disable it it's up to you if you wanted to keep it the same you can keep it the same uh, now next we have park domains uh, now uh, if you don't know uh, what this feature here does is it allows you to add another domain name to your account uh, that points to your current domain for example let's say uh, I have the domain 123network.net let's say I also owned 1234 network and I want them both to go to 123 network so if you went to 1234 network it would take you to 123 network uh, you would have to set up a park domain for this so that's what this feature here is for setting up park domains uh, if you have multiple multiple domains and you would like them all to lead into one you're gonna wanna uh, use the park domain feature um, next is the uh, redirects feature. Uh, this here feature allows you to make a specific web page redirect to another page and display the contents of that page. Uh, so as you can see here you can redirect all your domains or just a certain subdomain or domain redirect it to. Uh, here you see www only with the www redirect without the www uh, just pretty simple it's just like I said uh, pretty much just to redirect any of your uh, subdomains or domains to another domain or another subdomain um, now next we will be getting into the DNS or the domain name system uh, when this page loads here I'm not sure why it's taking so long it usually doesn't take this long um, here we go. Let's get down here. Uh, no, the simple DNS zone editor. So what a DNS is, is it's uh, a domain name system. Um, now this simple DNS zone editor, basically what it is, is it's the component of the internet which uh, which converts the domain name, say for example 123network.net, into computer readable IP addresses. Uh, for example, IP address 64.232.4.4.678, or right here is an example. Uh, this is what this does: it converts it over the domain name over to an address. Uh, now, to uh, to add a uh, a record here, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to enter your site name, uh, which would be 123network.net, and then the address, which would be the IP. Uh, now that's how you would add a, a record. As you can see, I have already done that. Uh, now to add a C name, uh, what you're going to want to do is it's pretty much like a subdomain. So for an example, the name would here would be uh, say mail or scripting dot one two three network dot net, 
and the uh, C name would be the main domain name so it would be 123network.net um, so that's pretty much just for uh, like I say added in the, uh, the DNS uh, the domain name system uh, now if you want to go ahead and go into the advanced DNS zone editor which you probably won't be using much but you might um, that will be for pointing uh, let's say subdomains or domains uh, to different IP addresses uh, so for example if you want to point your domain to a different IP address uh, you would use this feature as well as uh, you can choose uh, three different types of uh, uh, records uh, the A record the C name record or the TXT which is the text uh, record um, so that's pretty much it for the uh, part 6 of part 9 going over to the main section and the cPanel tutorial uh, if you have any questions like I said feel free to contact us at uh, 123network.net here in the contact section uh, and we'll be glad to uh, help you with anything you need help with thank you very much and have a nice day